Hi guys, uh, this will be a, a short video on how clusters and subclusters uh, work on a Faro laser scanner. So I'm connected to my scanner. I will go ahead and actually pull up the web interface on it. And I happen to have a couple of clusters over here. And the clusters that I'm uh, looking at, uh, there's one house cluster that doesn't have a parent project on it and then I have a couple of uh, clusters that are associated with it you see that they're kind of embedded in there so if I go into the living room cluster it says house and if I go into the bedroom one cluster once again it says parent project house and hallway cluster once again you'll see that it'll say house um, be aware that anytime you have a cluster or a subcluster over here uh, highlighted and you hit the little add button it'll actually embed another one inside here so i can have a living room and let's say the living room has i don't know a closet or something or a pantry or a kitchen to it you can hit the little plus button over here and again it lives inside the living room which the living room then inside the actual house so you would go ahead and call this i don't know kitchenette or something hit ok i also like to rename my actual scans like that and then i like my scan number to actually be one but regardless um this is always just uh, embedding uh, scans inside the main house cluster. So if we look at the living room, if we look at uh, the, the, the actual house cluster, you see that um, it doesn't actually show you how many scans are in it because you can scan into just the house as uh, their own scans. And then you can scan into the living room, scan into the bedroom, scan into the hallway. Uh, if you successfully do everything, you should be able to actually pull up the map of these clusters. Uh, I am not running an actual on-site registration on here, but you might see um, the, your bedroom uh, as your preview over here, and you might see your um, like living room, maybe a cluster also over here. But again, I'm not running on-site registration, so it's not actually showing me this thing. But uh, once we actually pull out the SD card from the scanner, which I will do right now, and you can see I removed the SD card. I will slide the SD card into uh, my SD card reader. Before that, I'll actually run scene just to see what the option uh, for importing is. So the uh, scene is running right now. I'm plugging in my SD card. And you'll notice that it'll say project transfer. Do you want to start project transfer? I'll say, typically I say no to this, but if you're trying to be uh, proactive and bring in the project all, in, all at once, you can hit yes. And over here, I'll uncheck all the ones that I don't care about because it's the one that I'm about to actually bring in. You can process this or not. For now, I'll just hit transfer, start transfer. And what's happening now is there's only one project that we're moving, but that project contains all those sub clusters that we actually saw. So uh, the, the house actually contains the living room, the bedroom, the hallway and these might have scans in them i already ran this so there are uh, i think about two scans here three scans here and two scans over here so uh, let's see this we'll hit okay if i open up my uh, house cluster now you'll see that it says we got eight scans four clusters if i go into explore you can see that my bedroom has two scans in it my hallway has three scans in it and my living room has two scans in it plus because I ran a scan inside just the house as a master cluster I also have an extra cluster there too so uh, these three 
subclusters do not get brought into scene as their own project. They are embedded inside the cluster that we called house, uh, yet they retain the actual uh, names of uh, what you had selected um, in here. So if you're um, unhappy with this or you don't want to um, have the program bring in all of these clusters embedded in here, you can just hit close project, uh, create a brand new project. Let's call it, I don't know, living room, enter, go into import, import your scans, look at your SD card where your scans still live and just grab the living room scans that you have over here, bring them in here and now you have them here. It's a separate project. It will uh, not allow you to uh, take out the subclusters on your, unless you actually bring in the whole um, project with the individual, uh, uh, I guess, room names in this case, unless you do it the way I just did it over here. So I now, I'll hit the save button and we'll say imported scans. And uh, after the imports finished, close, close. Now, obviously, I have one project which has everything in it in subclusters. And then I made a whole new cluster called living room just by manually uh, importing it into uh, a project by itself. All right. Hopefully this was uh, useful. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.